So I'm gonna show you how to join a second ball of yarn when you are in the middle of a row or a round. And I find that I like to join the ball of yarn in the row or the round versus at the edge. I like to keep my edges neat, so it's a lot easier for me to join the yarn than in the round or in the middle of a row. So as you see, our tail end is here, is about maybe 10 inches long. You probably don't wanna go much shorter than that. And we are now ready to join our second ball of yarn. So what I do is very simple, is I actually just knit with these two strands of yarn. So you take your new ball of yarn and you combine, combine it with your, your last little bit here of your first ball of yarn. So you have a tail end on this side for your new ball of yarn and a tail end on this side for your old ball of yarn. And what you'll do is you will knit about three, I do about three stitches of both of these strands of yarn together. So it'll be a double stitch. So after I've done three, and I have three double stitches here, I'm gonna drop my old, my first ball of yarn. I leave that tail end here, we'll just drop it. And then we will continue knitting with our new ball of yarn, like so. And then it looks like this. And then I'll show you what you do on the wrong side row. So now we're on the wrong side row and I have purled up to where I joined the yarn. And as you can tell, we've got double stitches here. So we're gonna work these double stitches as one. So you're going to purl these two stitches together like so, and you'll get one stitch. And then you'll do the same thing for the second one and also for the third one. So there we now have our join. And what you can do is you can slightly tug these just to um, just to make these a little bit tighter here. And then you'll just continue working your row or your round, whichever you are working on. And then if we turn back to the right side here, there is our join there and it is fairly well hidden, especially when you can pull these tails a little bit tighter. Okay, so I've knit a couple more rows here to show you what it looks like. And as you can tell, it's pretty hard to tell where that join comes in. And then when you are done, you're going to go back to your wrong side row and you're going to weave in these tail ends. And you will be left with a fairly seamless and also quite a strong join with these yarns. They're not going to come undone. So good luck with that.